All right, one of the two men accused of attacking a 71-year-old Sikh man in Manteca appeared in court today. You can see him right here, 18-year-old Tyrone McAllister. As we've told you, he is the estranged son of the Union City Police Chief Daryl McAllister, who was not in court today. Now, Tyrone McAllister is charged with these three things, elderly abuse, assault with a deadly weapon, and robbery. You'll notice he is not charged with a hate crime, and that is because police say there is no indication that it was one. But that has outraged a lot of people, including people in the Sikh community, and one group is now calling for the Department of Justice to get involved. Take a look at this letter written by the international organization United Sikh to the DOJ, requesting that they launch a federal investigation of the incident as a hate crime. And tonight I spoke with Gurvinder Singh. He is the director of humanitarian for United Sikh. I asked him to explain why they believe this is a hate crime. And he said one of the main reasons is the fact that the two suspects walked away from the man and then came back to him and attacked him after realizing he didn't have any money. So that um, basically something that signifies, you know, hatred in its purest form. Um, hatred for the individual, the way he looks, the way, he, uh, the, the way he's dressed. And this is something that, you know, our community has underwent numerous times. Now, Manteca PD says the reason they're not calling it a hate crime is that there's no indication this was based on prejudice. They say they only know that it was an attempted robbery. But if we're talking about the court of public opinion, I want to show you this. I asked earlier on my Facebook feed, should these men be charged with a hate crime? And something we never see, every single one of you who commented said Yes, they should be charged with a hate crime. We asked on the ABC 10 page as well. Again, every single commenter agreed, yes, they should be. But we want to talk about all sides of this. So weigh in on my Facebook page. Let me know what you think. Liz Kreutz News.